What if I told you that the U.S. military is developing an aircraft so advanced, so stealthy, that it could change the future of warfare forever? Meet the B-21 Raider, the next generation stealth bomber poised to dominate the skies. But here's the kicker. While it promises unparalleled capabilities, the B-21 also carries questions, cost, necessity, and the very nature of modern conflict. So, why is America betting so heavily on this plane? And what lessons does it hold for the future of global security? Let's find out. To understand the B-21 Raider, we first need to look at its predecessors and the evolution of stealth technology. The concept of stealth in aviation isn't new. It began with Jack Northrup's experiments in the 1940s, particularly the YB-49 Flying Wing. While it never made it to mass production, the flying wing design laid the groundwork for what would become modern stealth aircraft. By the 1980s, the U.S. needed a plane that could evade radar and deliver nuclear weapons deep into enemy territory. Enter the B-2 Spirit, the world's first operational stealth bomber. With its flying wing design and radar-absorbing materials, the B-2 was a game-changer. But at $2.2 billion per plane, it became one of the most expensive aircraft ever built. The collapse of the Soviet Union further diminished its strategic necessity, leading to only 21 units being produced. Fast forward to the 21st century. The world has changed, and so have the threats. China and Russia have developed sophisticated air defense systems like the S-400 and S-500, capable of detecting and targeting older stealth technologies. Meanwhile, the U.S. bomber fleet, comprising the B-52 Stratofortress and B-1B Lancer, is aging rapidly. The B-21 Raider isn't just a replacement, it's an evolution. The B-21 Raider looks similar to the B-2 Spirit, but don't let appearances fool you. This is a completely different beast. The B-21 maintains the flying wing design, a hallmark of stealth technology. This shape minimizes radar reflections, making the aircraft incredibly difficult to detect. Unlike the B-2, which required constant maintenance to preserve its radar-absorbing materials, the B-21 uses a next-generation stealth coating that is more durable and requires less upkeep. This is a huge step forward in reducing operational costs. The B-21's design incorporates open architecture, a fancy way of saying it's built to adapt. Need a new weapon system? A software update? The B-21 can integrate these changes seamlessly, ensuring it stays cutting edge for decades. Here's where things get futuristic. The B-21 can fly with or without a pilot. While it's not a fully autonomous drone, this capability means it could be deployed in high-risk missions without endangering human lives. The B-21 isn't just a bomber. It's a critical component of America's nuclear triad. But what exactly does that mean? The U.S. nuclear triad consists of three parts. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Hidden beneath the oceans, submarines provide a second strike capability. Strategic bombers, aircraft like the B-21, which offer flexibility and visibility. The triad ensures that even if one leg is destroyed in a surprise attack, the other two can retaliate. The B-21 modernizes the air leg, which has been lagging for decades. While its nuclear role is crucial, the B-21 is equally adept at delivering precision conventional strikes. It's designed to operate in contested environments, gathering intelligence and delivering payloads while evading detection. As groundbreaking as the B-21 is, it hasn't been without its challenges. The B-21 is estimated to cost $753 million per unit, assuming the U.S. orders 100 units. However, if the program is scaled back, as happened with the B-2 and F-22 Raptor, the per-unit cost could skyrocket. Will Congress commit to the full production run, or will budget cuts jeopardize the program? The B-2 cost $150,000 per flight hour, largely due to the maintenance-intensive nature of its stealth coating. The Air Force hopes to reduce this with the B-21's more durable design, but whether these savings materialize remains to be seen. Critics question whether investing in stealth bombers is wise in the age of hypersonic missiles. Hypersonics are faster, cheaper, and capable of striking targets in minutes. But here's the counter-argument. Hypersonic missiles are single-use weapons, while the B-21 is a long-term asset capable of delivering multiple missions. 
The B-21 Raider isn't being developed in isolation. Its creation is a direct response to emerging threats from adversaries. China has invested heavily in hypersonic weapons and advanced air defense systems. Their fractional orbital bombardment system, tested in 2021, could theoretically strike anywhere on Earth, bypassing traditional missile defenses. Russia's S-400 and S-500 systems are among the most advanced in the world, capable of tracking and targeting stealth aircraft. The B-21 is designed specifically to penetrate these defenses, ensuring the U.S. retains its strategic advantage. The B-21 Raider is only part of the U.S. Air Force's long-term strategy. Believe it or not, the B-52 Stratofortress, a plane first flown in 1952, will continue to serve alongside the B-21. Why? It's cheap to operate, easy to upgrade, and still highly effective for non-stealth missions. This high-low mix ensures the Air Force has the right tools for every scenario. The Air Force is also exploring the concept of drone wingmen, uncrewed aircraft that could accompany the B-21 on missions. While this idea is still in development, it highlights the growing role of AI and robotics in modern warfare. At first glance, the B-21 might seem like a niche topic, relevant only to military experts. But its implications are profound. The B-21 isn't just about offense, it's a deterrent. Its presence forces adversaries to think twice, preventing conflicts before they begin. Programs like the B-21 drive advancements in materials science, AI, and aerospace engineering. These innovations often have civilian applications, from more efficient aircraft to improved communication systems. The B-21 Raider represents the cutting edge of military technology, a symbol of innovation, deterrence, and America's commitment to staying ahead in an increasingly complex world. But it also raises questions about cost, necessity, and the nature of modern conflict. So what's your take? Is the B-21 Raider worth the investment, or should the U.S. focus on newer technologies like hypersonics? Let us know in the comments. And if you're fascinated by stories of innovation and strategy, like this video and subscribe for more in-depth explorations of the forces shaping our world.